Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all doing well. It's Friday. Happy Friday. It's uh, It's been a long week. It's uh, been a crazy week for me. But um, I just had dinner. We had Chinese takeout. My son and his girlfriend came by to have dinner with me. Yeah, so today's video is actually a little bit different than uh, the usual because I usually, you know, showing you guys unboxing and get ready with me but this time i just want to do a chit chat video like you know friends friends having conversation about my handbags actually i have five handbags that i want to show you guys that i purchased it because i was lasting for the luxury designer one but i don't really want to spend that money on right there's only one um uh there's actually one thing that i have the luxury designer bag but i actually favor the other brand that i have so let me start with that bag uh so what i'm talking about is the coach cassie you guys know as soon as i say coach cassie you guys know what i'm talking about on the luxury um luxury designer end right so um, let me show you guys so i actually have two Cassie. So I have the black one and I have the um the color black uh pink one for Cassie. So originally I actually have the uh Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse first, but I didn't purchase this one. This was a present for me. Um yeah, so I love this bag, guys. I really, really do. I just don't like the monogram. I like I like the functionality of this bag. Didn't really know anything about this until I think I was watching a YouTube um, video and they show this and it exactly looked like the pochette Matisse. Um, I started looking at it and then I was like, okay, I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. And I will purchase it. So this is the first one that I purchased. Uh, and I got this 30% off. Then I used Rakuten. And um, I think it's 12% cash back. So yeah. And then around Christmas, um, Boxing Day, they have a really good deal for this. So this one I got um 30 percent off less the rakuten this one i paid less than 200 guys around boxing day sale and i got 12 percent cash back or something percent cash back at rakuten so um yeah and i actually favor this more than my louis vuitton one and guys original price for this in canada it's for i'm looking at my cheat sheet here 425 dollars in can canadian uh, in uh, US, US dollar, it's 375 regular. regular. Guys, do not purchase this um, on a regular price. Always wait for the sale. Coach always, even no matter how popular the bag is, they put it on sale. And then the Pochette Matisse, the last time I looked at the website, it was, I'm not exactly sure right now how much the price was, but um, the last time I looked at it, it was $2,990 and it's US dollar, right? So convert that in Canadian, it's like expensive. It's I think the conversion is 1.3. So Canadian dollar is very low at the moment. Yeah, yeah so that's my first bag. Um, and then I'll show you guys this. This is my Karl Lagerfeld. Bag. I'm not exactly sure what this bag is called, but this one, um, I, I bought this at Winners for $120 and it's been a couple of years. It's still beautiful. Uh, when I first got this, uh, I wear it every day, even on the winter. And guys, what does this remind you? Gucci Bloom, right? Even the Dionysus looks like, you know, just the print, not exactly, but the flower um, embroidery, the the logo, it sort of looked like the Gucci one, right, guys? So I'll, I'll insert the picture of the Gucci um, 
uh, on the screen uh, what I can find on the internet but because I don't have it but this is like you know when I first got this I was like oh when I saw it right away I was like it made me think about the Gucci uh, the Gucci bloom like it was so big a couple of years ago right so that's that actually when um, Louis Vuitton um, came up with the Clapton it's called Clapton yeah um, and I've been lasting for that because I like I like the design it was um, very convertible so you can use it as a backpack you can use it as shoulder you can use it for crossbody so I went in and out of um, Louis Vuitton trying to you know trying it on um, convincing myself that I need it and I you know I really really want it but then I was like I can't really like I can't justify spending that much money on a bag no matter what so I when I saw this like it doesn't look exactly like that but like you know it's a mini backpack it's a convertible you can use it as crossbody back um shoulder bag and a backpack and this is actually full leather if you want to see my unboxing here i would link it at the end or in the uh, description down below happy that i didn't bite the bullet and getting the louis vuitton one um this one is called um it's a parker coach parker convertible backpack and it's a uh, 375 US dollar. No, 375 Canadian dollar. And then there's a quilted version one that has studs too. And it's 425. For the Louis Vuitton Clapton, I'm not exactly sure. I, I, I can't remember how much it is, but I will um, insert the price in the screen. Yeah, so so this is my third one and i was like i'm just like i'm in love with this bag you guys like why would i spend like probably it's probably like two thousand dollars and this is like and i got this for another 30 percent off yeah so one thing one thing that you guys have to know about me is i don't buy anything in regular price i don't i don't buy anything just because it's on sale I always like, you know, okay, I want this and I would wait for it to go on sale. And I know some people would say, well, what if you miss out, miss out on it? Like, why did, what if it's like you they run out and they will never come back? I was like, that means it's not for me, right? I never, ever, ever buy anything in full price. When it comes to like handbags, shoes, I would, I would always want to save money because i know the markup is i know how much the markup is like i just can't so i'm cheap that way you're probably gonna be like, some of you are probably like so expensive you know but I, I i don't pay full price yeah so that's my third one fourth one i'll show you guys is my this is michael kors grayson this is my first Michael Kors bag that I purchased myself. I have some uh, Michael Kors bag that I um, own that I didn't purchase myself. So you can tell what is the luxury counterpart of this one, right? Yeah, so um, my, uh, Michael Kors Grayson looks like the Speedy, right? The Speedy 30, I think, is the comparable uh, size for this one. And... This one, I'm pretty sure I paid less than 200 for this. But because I think it's been eight years since I bought this. And the Speedy, Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, uh, uh, insert the price in the screen. Yeah, so, I, and I'm pretty sure it's like thousands of dollars, right? So, yeah, so that's the fourth one. And my final, last and final handbag that I purchased because... I'm very, very into um, Saint Laurent Lulu. The YSL Lulu is my baby. My new baby is the Tory Burch Kira. You guys, I'm so happy I got this. 
no regrets, nothing at all. This is so beautiful and luxurious. I still want to get the YSL Lulu. But, you know, I just got this. Like, most of this, like, as soon as I got the counterpart, like, you know, the contemporary designer counterpart, I just forget about the designer one. With this one, because I just got it, I still, like, you know, I still lusting for the YSL Lulu, but I know it's going to fade away eventually. Eventually, it's going to fade away. But because that YSL Lulu, I've been really wanting it for the last couple of years. I almost got one a, uh, a month ago. Um, the Saks Fifth Avenue is having a... Um, if Every $200 you purchase, you get $50 off. And the one that uh, I was looking at is the Toy Lulu. Not the actual Lulu because it's cheaper. I, I was aiming for the smaller one because I actually like smaller purses more than the big ones so when i was um yeah i almost bought the toy lulu because it came out to eleven hundred dollars with the discount so but then i was like i i slept on it and i said to myself if it's still there if it's still available the next day then i will purchase it and then I woke up the next day it was still there but i still didn't purchase it i don't know i just like do i want to commit to that i was like it's a lot of money guys like i was thinking eleven hundred dollars um i can buy like four or five purses you know what i mean because i with me i would purge uh, four years ago i purged everything i left i went back to the philippines i brought all my purses left one here that's it and i gave away everything then i accumulate new ones and stuff like that so that the only thing that i keep is all the presents that i get from my friends and my family i don't get rid of that i keep it on my collection but anything that i purchase it's just a thing for me right now i'm into like i a couple of years ago i was into coach like 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 the same as this year but then a couple like four years ago i just got rid of every coach that i have like i gave it to my mom my mom is in love with coach as well so i gave it to my mom and my mom gave it to some of my some of them were uh gifted to my sister-in-law my sister so i didn't even own any coaches and then i started buying coaches again i was like it's just like for me it's just a thing right so uh and if my sister's like I, ate, ate means older sister. Ate, I like that purse. Can I have it? So I give it to them. So, yeah. So that's it. Like, that's why I was like, if I buy a, a, a $1,100 purse or a $1,500 first purse, and then I get sick of it, then, you know, well, my sister is going to be happy, but, you know, my husband won't. <laughs> right? You guys. So, yeah. So this is my last final one. And, you know, I'm still lasting for the YSL Lulu. I'm just rambling, guys. So, yeah, that's it, guys. What, guys, let me know down down below. Comment down below. What are the purses that you guys purchased uh, from the con contemporary designer that inspired by, by a, a luxury high-end uh, designer? Like, let me know down below. Hopefully, this would be it for that that designer bag right yeah so guys thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy this kind of type of video talk through like i can talk forever guys i can talk non-stop like i like talking and um i really enjoy uh what i'm doing in youtube like you know this is something that i just it makes me happy it makes me feel like i'm talking to everyone like my video gets a lot of comments maybe not a lot a lot but for me it's a lot a lot of people question had questions for me i answer we i feel like i have friends accumulating uh, uh every time i post the video yeah so i i'm enjoying it guys no matter how how tired i am i just like i'll make sure i, I film a video like no matter what 
because I, I kind of feel like I need to talk to my friends right so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching if you're new here my name is Ruan check out um I have a lot of videos already check them out if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and maybe hit that bell button so that it, you can be notified when I upload a new video yeah so I love you guys and have a good weekend bye